Well, talk about some bad apples. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pascal back at it again with another pop up video. I hope you guys are doing well. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and of course, comment down below. Let me know what you think. We got to get into this whole thing. Now, there's a lot of things that have happened over the past couple of days that I have not had a chance to really talk about. So, we're going to talk about them today. So, you know. Today is an interesting one. This subject is kind of, uh, it's disgusting, man. It really, it really burns my cookies, man. It gets me really, really fired up, and I can't believe that this is something that is actually real. Um, three officers in Colorado were fired for doing mocking photos of Elijah McClain's death. And you know what's really interesting? Some of those cops were involved in the death and murder of Elijah McClain. The, you know, these are some really bad apples, all right? These are some rotten people, all right? This is the most disgusting thing that I have ever seen. Uh, the fact that they are doing something like this, doing, doing, uh, taking photos like this and putting it out there, like these photos are out there. They shared it amongst their friends. They shared it amongst their fellow officers, their fellow uh, cops and police officers. Uh, and for this to come out like this, makes you look at that case, makes you look at that incident and that murder a different way. The fact that these photos are coming out right now, the fact that these photos are out now at all, that have that they surfaced is beyond me. You know, you are literally, you are literally exposing your ass. You are literally putting yourself out there and trying and showing to everyone saying, I did it. Here I am with the knife and the blood all over me. Look at me doing something really, really stupid. These three officers went to the place where uh, where the events took place. These same officers that were involved in his death went to his memorial place and decided to do photos all smiling and doing the chokehold around each other's neck, laughing, mocking the death of this innocent young man. So these photos came out, right? They're circling around, passing around around with their friends. They're laughing about it, getting it shared. Their, their buddies are looking at it, all, all police officers. And suddenly, out of nowhere, one of the cops out there feels compelled to bring this up to their interim police chief. You know what? I am so thankful that there are good apples in the f police force. I'm just going to say that real quick because here it is. We don't have any time to sit around and let certain photos like that sit and, and fester and get put out there and be put on social media and be misconstrued and all this stuff. That That is the type of stuff that needs to be uh, attacked and approached and dealt with with absolute Quickness and severity. Those guys are absolutely admitting that they did something bad. They don't give two dams about that young man's life. And the fact that the interim police chief went out of her way to speak up and put that, that stuff out there and let the public know about this says a lot about how, yes, you know, there are some good apples out there. You know, I'm hoping that there are more good apples than there are bad apples. The thing is, is those those three officers that are in the this photo laughing their butts off and having a grand old time over a place and over a situation that is so grave, that is so terrible, that is so unjust. Makes you hope that those kind of criminals. Which they clearly are, those are those are mobsters those are gangsters those are thugs those guys should be locked up and they should throw away the damn key i'm super happy that the interim police chief decided to step up and say something about this and and it decided to give them administrative leave as quickly as, as she could you know within the powers that she has and now i hope that when they start to dive in to the case and they use that and they use those pieces of evidence. I'm hoping that it starts steering towards the truth. 
and towards justice. Anyway, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think that those guys should be fired or not? I think, shoot, that was them admitting absolute guilt. Please, throw them in the prison. Throw away the key. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Hit that like button. And if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. I got to get going. See you guys in the next video. This is the Pascal Show. Bye. P-A-S-C-A-L. You are now rocking with that dude, Pascal. We be going wild.